So of course the substitution method for solving a linear system always works. But you know what? If the linear system is kind of complicated with lots of coefficients and numbers running around, sometimes solving for x or solving for y will get a little bit tricky. And you'll have fractions and things will get messy. And it'll still work. But sometimes there's actually an easier way that might be a, a viable alternative when, in fact, we have a complicated system. And that's called the method of elimination. Let me show you what I mean by looking at an example. And you'll see in the example why it's called elimination. Let's take a look at this system right here. So I have these two linear equations, 4x plus 3y equals 10, and x minus 3y equals negative 5. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to find the solution that satisfies both of them simultaneously. Well, I'm imagining that the x and the y that I'm going to find is going to satisfy both this one and this one. And there's something really cool. If I take this equation and this equation together, if I were to add them up, let's just look at what would happen. I'll write it down in a second, but let's just look at it together. Here I'm going to have a 4x plus an x. That's a 5x. But look what happens when I add here. I see 3y plus negative 3y. That produces 0. So in fact, I've eliminated the y. That's why it's called elimination, because I'm actually getting rid of one of the variables by using both equations together and just adding them up. And then here I just would add as well. So let's just add these two equations and see what happens. So I'm going to add the two equations. So 4x plus x is 5x. Here I've got a 3y, but now it's a minus 3y, or 3y plus negative 3y, however you want to say it. All roads lead to 0. And that equals 10 plus negative 5, or 10 minus 5, which is 5. Well, see, I've eliminated the y. That's why it's called elimination. I use both equations together. And so now I see that 5x equals 5. And so if I divide both sides by the 5, I see x equals 1. Well, that's great. Now, am I done? No, because I have to find the y value that partners up with the x. How can I do that? Well, I can do that in either of the equations I want. All I've got to do is take one of these, plug in x equals 1, and solve for y. And you can use either one. I'm going to use this one because the numbers seem a little bit smaller. And I love small numbers. So here we go. I'm going to plug in a 1 for x. And I see 1 minus 3y equals negative 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 1 from both sides. They drop out here. I'm left with negative 3y equals negative 6. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3 to undo the multiplication. And I see y equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And so I see the answer is 2. And so what's my final answer? x equals 1, y equals 2. Or if you want to write it as an ordered pair, 1 comma 2. And again, you can check your answer just by taking 1 for x and 2 for y in each of the equations and show that in both cases, uh, this solution satisfies both. That's the method of elimination.